Hey, welcome back. So, uh, part two to my thunder fins. Uh, pretty much what I figured out is the reason why these fender fins didn't fit properly on my 2017 uh, Toyota 86 is because the fender garnish that comes stuck on the 86 has a different shape or contour to it. Um, this is from a BRZ, uh, I'm not sure the year, but 2013 to 2016 timeline. Uh, on this, the it concaves in, basically it sinks in. And if you look at the fender, uh, garnish it wants to do the same thing whereas on the 2017 it actually comes out more it doesn't come in it's almost flush so what I did is I took this off of my car and then I used a heat gun to uh, heat up all the double-sided tape and peel it off so now when I place this on top of the fender garnish it actually fits on there perfect so if you have a 2013 to 2016 and you are trying to get these fender fins, um, if you watched my first video, you might be like, oh, I don't know if I want to do something like that. It's not really going to work out. Well, if you do have one of those, then it's going to work fine. This shape is almost perfect. Like it is pretty much lines up everywhere. No issues, no concerns. There's no gaps. Um, it lines up perfect. So what my goal is, is to take off my stock garnishes and put these on here if you notice these are blue so what I'm probably gonna do um, is I'm either just gonna paint them black or I'm going to just get some vinyl wrap and vinyl wrap it black that way when these are on if any bit of paint shows through or any bit of color shows through um, you you won't see it because the black will be hiding it so the other thing I'm doing now is you could see that there is um, some double-sided tape on here also and I want to take that off so what I'm doing is I'm just taking my heat gun and I'm heating it up like so I'm not going to do it like normal but pretty much going like that it heats it up enough that it makes the the double-sided tape soft again um, and with it being soft it's easier to just pull off so that's all I'm really doing to take off the original double-sided tape so that I could put new double-sided tape on it. And if you can see, it's pretty much coming off um, just by rubbing on it, but the heat just makes it easier to pull off. Um, so I'm going to get this all prepped and then figure out if I'm going to paint it or vinyl wrap it. But that's going to be how I'm going to install these again on my car, but have them actually fit properly instead of having them stick out. So what I decided to do instead of painting them or vinyl wrapping them is plastic dip them. Uh, I read online that you can definitely use 3M double sided tape on plastic dip and uh, this will give me that black look that I need to kind of hide um, the blue that was once there and then basically these will, the plastic dip is pretty much dry, I just need it to cure. These will come over the top of it and now that blue um, won't be showing through anymore So that's the plan. I just need more 3m double-sided tape now I uh, cleaned up as much as I can off of here, and then I'm gonna pop them off the car Put these ones in their place and everything should work out right just need to get some 3m double-sided tape All right, so um, I need to take these off right here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this screwdriver and then this, this little piece of foam. I'm going to put the foam right there to kind of just brace up against the paint so that it doesn't get in the way. And then it should just pop off. Um, I did get these recently painted and so I know that they use some form of tape. Uh, I already did this side. You can see the plastic dip portions in there. Um, the black ones that I put are in there. And then here's my old one. You can see they use some sort of tape right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this off right now. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So very carefully I'm just kind of getting it under there. I'm trying to not get it on the paint. There's that first pop. That's pretty much, once you get that first pop, then you could just reach in and just start pulling. If you look, 
right in there. And you can see the tape that was used. So I'm just slowly prying that away until it comes off. Kind of going back and forth, trying not to bend the fender garnish too much, but it is ABS plastic, so there is some give to it. There it goes. Boom. Now this is off. I need to pull that off. Now, I know I'm missing a couple of these off my old one, or the one I bought, so I'm just going to pop them off. Oops. And then I can just flip this over, and it's really just one that's missing, so I'll pop this in place. Now, you could put double-sided tape on the back of this. Uh, what factory use, I'm pretty sure, is just a foam tape. Um, it's not really needed. You just gotta line this up. And then once it's lined up, it's just a matter of popping it into place. So now you can see those are popped into place. So all that's left now is attaching the carbon fiber. Let me show you. So I still need to put double sided tape on this, but if you look, this lines up a lot better now. It's not sticking out, it hugs the paint or the, the fender a lot better. It covers up everything, there's nothing that's sticking out. So this is going to look a lot better. Um, one thing that I'm going to do, like I said, is double sided tape. And also I'm going to heat these up just a little bit so they have um, some give to them. And that should allow me to just pop them on the place. Alright, so I put new 3M tape on there. I still need to pull off the adhesive. But, I'm just going to do a quick dry fit. Make sure it all lines up right. Which it does. So then the next step is just going to take it off. So I'm going to do that real quick off. Alright, I have all the tape off. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to line up the back. And then, once I have the back kind of lined up, I'm going to bring it up to the front. Nothing's on there too tight right now. Just trying to get it to line up right. Everything appears to be in the right spot, so now it's just a matter of pushing it back in. And if you look, this is just the one side, but there's no more gap there. That is pretty much flush in there. So this fits a lot better than the other ones did. So they're, just to clarify, they are the same fender fins. They are just on a 2013 to 2016 BRZ fender garnish, um, which are contoured different. And even the way that this feels on there, it feels tighter. So I'm probably going to stick a lot better. Look at that. Much better fitment. So definitely happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. As you can see, they look a lot better than they did before, and they fit a lot better. So if you're going to go with some eBay Fender fins, my suggestion is if you're 2017 or newer, that you go get 2016 or older Fender garnishes to put on your Fender fin. Hit like, hit subscribe, thank you.